Let's do it again. Yeah. Okay. So here's where I am. Let's get my mouse back to the right screen here. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Okay. So uh, I got a truck. I bought one for. I saved up like a hundred thousand, and then I bought a truck for thirty thousand. Uh, but it's fine. I. I fixed it all up. It was a one star. It's all fixed up. It's ready to go. I've been driving it for a while. I'm back up to $72,000. I'm level 10. Um, That's not a picture of me, by the way. That's just an image in game. I can't figure out how to put my picture in there and be awesome. So I've got my truck. One thing I need to do uh, is get out of here. I just need to drive. It's a decent looking truck. Um, I don't I don't mind it. It's getting the job done. But let's get out of here. What I need to do is go right over there. So let's go to the map. Let's zoom in. I need to go over here. I need to repair my truck. I need to sleep. I need to get gas. So we're going to click that and get a nice little map. I just wanted to show uh, real quick. Now I do have mods installed now. I got three mods. One is a Google Maps uh, mod that changes the nav in the lower right to be more like Google Maps um, instead of the game's default, which was fine. It works. I just thought I'd install something more fun. And I also have another mod that changes the buildings and business names to be like a real world. Like I just delivered from, uh, Walmart to Amazon or UPS. And there's Amazon. I think this is a Tesla factory over here. Cause they're testing cars or something on the track <laughs> and I'm blocking traffic. So that's been kind of nice just to have like more immersion in the game. Like, okay, these are real places, things I know checking for traffic. Um, so it's, it's been okay. So what I've been doing is I take a run, I take a job. I complete that job and then uh, I prepare for the next job by getting gas, fixing my truck. You know, you hit some rocks. Uh, red light violation. I can turn right on red, you stupid jerk. Um, let's stop at this one. Uh, I, I got... You know, you ding a car turning, you get these little accidents, you run over some rough ground. It is what it is. I just got hit the tra the by a train arms. So I was going to a crossing to drop this off. Nothing was going, nothing was flashing, and I hit an invisible wall. And then the lights come on and the arms come down. I'm like, well, that's not my fault, you stupid game. Um... It is what it is. It's fine. I got 71,000. We, we're cruising. So what I'm trying to do now is just take jobs to locations I haven't been to yet so I can open up locations. And one of the reasons you want to do that is because you might find some hidden gems in the game. One of them is the um, recruitment offices so that you can recruit drivers for your team. Uh, for your business, um, that plus a dealers, uh, so you can find new and used vehicles to purchase. There's lots of reasons why you want to find places you haven't been before. So here I'm still going. Um, plus it's fun to just unlock the map and see new vistas and do all kinds of fun stuff. So what I'm doing now is, so I'm trying to, um, just take jobs. Uh, to unlock new locations, but I'm also trying to get, uh, I think I, I can't get, I can't hire a worker because I don't have a, a slot in my garage for another person. I just have me. So I have to upgrade the garage to have another bay for a truck. And I can't do that until I get 180, it costs $180,000. So I'm kind of in this holding pattern of taking jobs 
and uh, trying to earn some extra cash so I can expand the garage, expand my garage so I can hire another person and hopefully uh, make more money. I'm hoping the more people I hire, the more money the company makes. Uh, and then we're going to start getting into, okay, I have a business to manage instead of just driving from place to place. I don't know. We'll see. This is all new. Uh, and it has, I'm having an absolute blast with this. I bought Euro Truck Simulator 2 because it's also on sale for five bucks. And I'm like, okay, so let's do all the truck sims. That's fine. Because I'm having a lot of fun with the views here and I would think that um, your Euro truck simulator is going to have some pretty fun places to see. I don't know. Just screwing around. So we're coming over here to this spot uh, and I'm going to come in. We might as well get some gas. Oops. Totally ran a red light. I wasn't looking. It's my bad officer. Oh, I got to go to these. Okay, so these are for regular cars. Diesel's down here. Let's get in the truck. Uh, I do like the different camera modes. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with those. Park it. Turn it off. Hold A to gas it up. I did not realize how expensive gas is to gas these suckers up. It's not uncommon to drop... Five hundred or a thousand dollars on gas. Uh, okay, so I'm here. I got gas. Is there a place to? Yep, there it is. It's across the street. Eh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, that's all right. No traffic. Let's go. here to uh, repair my truck because it's got some damage if we come and look at our at our truck we can see we got some damage 23% to the engine and all kinds of stuff so you come over here and park in the appropriate spot Hit A, and then you can you can do maintenance on your uh, on your truck for repairs, or you can do some upgrades if you'd like. I've been doing a little of both, mostly service recommendations. Twenty one hundred bucks. Okay. Confirm that. Get us all nice and fixed up, and then you can come in here and look at what you might want to upgrade on your vehicle. Do I want to upgrade the cabin? Ooh, twenty seven grand. It's not compatible with the short 6x4. Okay. To install it, short 6x4 needs to be removed. Remove it? No. What is the short 6x4? It must be my cab. So I got to upgrade this. It's not compatible uh, with day cab to install it. Okay. So I'm just going to get a whole new truck. <laughs> Because this is, you know, 20 grand here, 20 grand there, 40 grand there, blah, blah, blah. It's just ridiculous. So I have upgraded. This is what I have because it's got the check and it's there. Okay, so I can get this. What does this do? It doesn't really do much. It just gives me some more horsepower, which I don't. I'm not dying for 50 more horsepower. So I don't need that. Um, so we're just going to uncheck it. My gearbox, I did upgrade that to a 13 speed. Um, and that changed a lot of stuff up here. It's really interesting. Um, it's really nice that when you pick different gearboxes, it shows you the differences. And that was really cool too. This is what I got. Let's see. Um, interior, I really don't care about my interior um that much it's just a day cab so it's not all that crazy paint jobs i haven't even looked at any of this stuff i don't care about it i like the color it's not bad accessories i have been playing around with some accessories i really don't need front flags uh bug deflector i bought mirrors i bought these mirrors 
you know there's there's all kinds of stuff that you can you can tweak on these get new mud flaps if you want international exclusives heck yeah get those exclusives confirm that order um let's see what else did we miss in here um internal stuff you know you can change your steering wheel if you want to get the eagle premium 360 bucks or the standard <laughs> drink cup holders i can get a set for a dollar i thought i already did that accessory slot okay yeah let's get those uh lots of dumb stuff you can upgrade okay so we've got our repairs we got gas but i can tell that i need to sleep so what you do is you come to a spot E to turn it off, A to sleep, getting some rest. I really don't dry, like driving at night, but here we are. Okay, so I'm all queued up for another job. So what I do is, I think you hit M for map, so I can do quick jobs uh, if I so choose. I've been doing freight jobs. Uh, so where am I? What town am I in? Does it tell me? Where can I see? Am I in Bakersfield? It must be in Bakersfield because I've got this set for origin nearest me. So I can take a... And then I look at prices. So here's a job to Hallbrook. What? Well, what town am I in? I'm in Oakland. Okay. So then I come up here and I type Oakland. Um, And I want to go from Oakland... Apparently nothing is leaving Oakland at the moment. Because everything is coming to... So it's from Modesto to Oakland. And I'm in Oakland. I don't want to... Oh, here we go. Here's a job. Just a standard, regular job. 20 grand. I don't like that. Let's do this one for 32,000. There we go. 32,000. Uh, it's fragile. It's precious. It's standard delivery. It's going to take us to Las Vegas, which I have been to, but I like the route. It doesn't look too cumbersome. It looks like it's mostly highway stuff. It's Tesla. It's a Tesla. It's moving Tesla stuff. Uh, so I'm going to take that. Oh, this is going from Oakland. Well, where am I? I'm in San Jose. That's fine. So what I'm going to do is do a quick world map. Is it not letting me, if I come in here. I'm going to drive clear up to Oakland. It's all right. We're going to tweak this. Uh, jobs, freight market. Uh, and where am I again? I'm in San Jose is where I am. Well, I'm kind of between the two. So let's go San Jose. Uh, I really like that $30,000 job, though. bit of a distance. I don't mind distance. Let's do it. Um, Oakland. Let's go back up to that spot. Oakland. It was 32,000. Let's hit enter. What? Is the job gone already? No, here it is. Nope. Where am I? What am I doing? <laughs> this is it set gps all right let's just go let's do it uh let's start the car turn on the lights we're going back up let's get into our map all right so we got to drive over to oakland go 
Uh, I did find that there is driver assist, uh, which I have found to be really helpful for a nice addition so that I don't really actually have to physically drive at all times. I can just turn on the drive assist and have it stay in or lane assist and help it keep me, which has been great for those highways, long distances. Um, just, just driving. I don't even 15 minutes. All right. So we're going to go to the Tesla building, pick up some stuff, drive it to another Tesla location. Also, I love just blocking traffic. <laughs> so fun. All right. Come on. I don't want to incur a fine. There we go. Gonna drive over to the shop. Yeah. Blinkers. I don't have to stop. Oops. All right, we're just going to get in the cab. It's a nice interior. I don't have any problems with it. It does the job. It's probably going to be better in the day. I'm just going. I am a going. Okay, we need to go up here. Very speeding. Let's get out and see from above. Oh, I got all kinds of mirrors, which has been nice. Let's see how long this video is. It's probably going to be an hour or so because that drives. It's a distance going to be a distance, but $30,000. I've been taking the high paying routes, even if they're long, because I don't give a crap. I'm supposed to be chilling. Got my music going. Got my music going, chilling. Done with work for the day. Oh, wait for this stupid light. There we go. I mean, you can play this however you want to play this. If I want to run this red light or stop sign, I can. There ain't no cops. <laughs> it is totally up to you. You want to play your game. You want to obey the rules. I have found some sneaky things from time to time. And maybe we'll see one on this route from time to time. There are um, not really. Yeah, the cops have the interstate shut down for a wreck. And instead of bypassing or going around, I just go through the barricade. See if we can get drive assist on. There we go. Drive assist is on. Lane assist. And so I got cruise control set. I got lane assist on. It's just gonna go it's around in the lanes. Um, and this is really helpful and handy for these distance interstate runs that don't need like a ton of attention paid. You can just kind of I mean I got my hand on the controllers. And, uh, you know, in case I need to hit the brakes or whatever the case, uh, another mod I think is for real, real ads on billboards. <laughs> See, I need to switch lanes over to here. Caused an accident on that, on that bus. Sorry, bro. Oops. What is that? Just poke the button. Are we, or is, is it working? I wish there was some kind of UI mod that I could have 
that would display because there's nothing on the controls here for this vehicle for lane assist or cruise i can't tell if it's on or not um which is a little bit frustrating for me i want to i want some kind of visual cue to tell me hey your lane assist is on when you hit the brakes it turns off which is fine Drive over here. Let's turn the blinkers on. Let's do it right. Uh, yeah, I don't know why you're watching. The one thing that I have not seen in the game that I kind of wish was in the game is going through certain areas you'll see signs that say watch out for wildlife and i have not hit a deer or bears or moose or any kind of i haven't seen roadkill so i kind of i don't know if it's in or not i just haven't seen it but i kind of want to want to see that i know that's really morbid is that really the light What are we waiting on? This guy? Go. There's nobody in front of you, man. And you're turning right. Oh, he's going straight. He's got his blinkers on. You're a jerk. You're a goob. Gonna go up here and turn left. Bro. Bro. Sometimes the drivers feel a little too real. I'm speeding. And I did it. Oh, <laughs> I thought I could make this turn. Uh, there are, there's a bunch of settings in there for uh, turnability and stuff like that. They just leave it all default. I assume they have it set at like real truck driver settings. I don't know. <laughs> Bus almost hit me. Okay, we're coming up on Tesla. <clears throat> so we're going to go pick up this order. Sign. Uh, we're going to have to turn right into here. Okay, let's hit enter. I want to earn money for myself. This is the one I want for $32,000. Take that job. Okay, and they're right there. So one of the things you have to do is when you pick up a load like this, you have to go look it up. So trailer's ready. We're just going to... And I switch to this view because as soon as you back up, it moves into the camera. So I get a nice bird's eye view, nice and slow. I'm not here to wreck anything. I got a fragile load. Okay, I'm under it. I hit Y, it's coupling. And I'm all hooked up. And now I can take off. Start my journey fresh and relaxed. This is an 11 hour uh, drive. In game. Uh, I should find out the math on that. I know it's a 120th scale ish map. Um, but I haven't figured out the times yet. There we go. We're hauling these whatever Tesla factory vehicles. Now they are fragile, so I do have to... <clears throat> Pay a little bit more attention 
because I want to maximize the amount of money I get, right? My ROI, return on investment. <clears throat> I'm going to make sure... Was my transmission? Oh, I have throat issues. Uh, okay. There's a there's a car. I usually do this overhead view mode while I'm in the cities, just so I can see things a little bit better. Got my mirrors on the upper right and left corners of the mat or the screen. And I am expecting a pretty smooth drive. Kind of gotten a handle on lane assist. Cruise control, those kinds of things. Let's hit the... You're not catching me at a good time. So it's 2.37 in the morning, which is why it's dark. So hopefully during this recording, we'll get the sunrise. It's an 11 hour drive, so... Should be there at 2 p.m. You can check and see when they expect it. Saturday at 7.20. That's a tight, um, tight fit. Not really. We've got 24 hours to deliver it, right? 28 hours, it says right there. we got plenty of time. It's an 11 hour drive. I will have to stop for sleeps. I'm definitely going to have to do that. I need to go straight. Don't I? What's up with this light? Just doing it. 700 bucks that's fine oh now it turns you jerk all right going under this bridge and i'm gonna have to turn it's another 700 but i don't want to cut into my profits there we go It's a heavy load. It's all those batteries. <laughs> all right. We are heading toward the interstate. Nice and quiet in these cabins. I do like camera six and four. Uh, six is front bumper or is front top. Those have been my two favorites so far. Oh, I'm speeding. Check me out. Okay, we're on the road. Speed limit's 55 here, so we'll get up. I'll hit cruise control. At 55, there it is. Should be locked in. Uh, we're on this side. This should curve us here and around. Hit lane assist. And let it do the driving and cruise control. Now all I got to do really is pay attention to increased speed limits and accidents, that kind of stuff. I it should be good to go. Should be. I need to get over. So we're going to get over a couple of lanes turn off my blinker and drive assist should pick back up it is a little squirrely from time to time um i, I don't care all right we're 55 i also like to get into the cabin just to make sure everything looks okay whoa 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 Uh, what is this? I'm just driving through people? Is 
So this is what I mean. You can you can just bypass some of this stuff. Oh come on, <laughs> you idiot. <clears throat> Uh, and I do this because I don't want to have to find alternate routes and go crazy with all that. Come on. Find the lane. There you go. I just get back up to speed again. There is a resume cruise. But I can never remember what it is. I think I said it. Is it left control? Is it left shift? Left alt? That's not it. I'll have to, I'll have to remember what those are. And now my lane assist is down. I think it's back up. It's not perfect, but I'd rather fiddle with lane assist and all this other stuff than actually manually drive from spot to spot I don't mind it it just gets tiresome all right let's lock it in at 56 okay we are on the road and here is guy to be that guy assist do your job I also love backing it one of the one of the fun things about lane assist is it lets you just take a minute to look around like I don't really have to worry about crazy speeds happening plus there's one of the cameras is the drive by so it'll change from time to time and just have fun little camera shots I, do, I don't really use those all that much this one's this one and camera four in the front six in the front two look at that all right let's get up to let's get at a little more speed here should be able to be get us up to 60 maybe Fifty-nine. And we're gonna hit the blinker. Get over. The blinker again. Lane assist takes back over. And it dropped me out of cruise control. Drives me nuts. Come on. Um, this is just one of the trucks um, that you can get. There's a t there's so many uh, trucks um, that you can get. This one just doesn't have any identifier on it as to when you are in cruise control. You just are. I'm assuming it's like a button on a handle or a lever. Uh, like some, it's not like a, there's no dash readings that tell you you're in cruise control, I don't think. I don't see anything. So you're you're for this vehicle, you're either in cruise control and and you know it, or you're you're not. There's there's no real like I said, I wish there was some kind of UI mod that would put that information on the screen. Like I've got, you know, what gear I'm in. I'm in A13. I can see my fuel, I can see sleep meter, I can see all kinds of stuff, but I don't see anything that indicates Um, indicates that so yeah you can kind of just sit back here comes the sunrise at five in the morning and again now that we're outside we can kind of see it take a take a minute to look at the vista the scene it's pretty cool 
it's pretty cool um and then you can cycle through f5 is your nav and you can kind of see you can cycle through like super close here standard uh top view and then very far top view so we're gonna you can kind of see like i i'm just gonna be on this interstate i don't need to see a, a super detailed view um, but then I can also check the map and see how long we got to go. We got a ways to go into Vegas. It's all good. What does, no, uh, yeah, you can, you can even go in and can, you know, check out your company, driver, manager, all kinds of stuff. Well, you're out here doing this. Uh, so it's not bad. I'm just going to go ahead and record this whole thing. And then see whether or not I edit it. First of all, we'll see how long it is. See, it's still got eight, eight and a half hours left. All kinds of time. Nice, quiet ride. And I'm assuming that, you know, the areas that you drive through in this game have the essence and feel of the area you're actually driving through. It's not a one to one relationship. It's one to 20 scale. So I'm assuming that if I were to drive through near Huron, California, it would feel like this. It would feel like this scenery. Uh, and I absolutely love that. Love that idea to think. That's one of the reasons I love driving and traveling is to see the different countries, different areas, uh, geography that we have on, uh, on this earth. And if this kind of gives me a sense of that, then this game is definitely earning its earning its cash now i do have i think i have adaptive cruise control so you see i had it set at 60 but because the people in front of me slowed down i slowed down without touching any controls now that i don't have anybody in front of me it's going to pick back up to 60. and i believe you can find that stuff if you go into your menu into system options Go into key buttons and you scroll down to the area. Here it is. Adaptive cruise controls. Cruise control I've got set at the right alt. Okay. Um, and you can set buttons up to incrementally, you know, increase and decrease your, your cruise control. Um, I've got lane keeping assistance set to control, lane assist mode, right shift, infotainment display mode. I don't know if I've, if I've used that, but you can set all that stuff up, which is really cool. Uh, right shift infotainment. What is that? I don't know what it's doing. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we're just cruising. Just trucking on, trucking on through. Looks like a orchard out over there to the left. Kind of somewhere in California. I know they like to do wine out there. So I don't know if that's like a, looks like trees. Orchard. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah, I find I just I just look around. This is Orchard Valley. Uh, I've seen lots of cow pastures. I saw windmill farms. Um, I drove over a bridge and on underneath the bridge, I could see <laughs> there was like a house nearby. And there was a couple of guys standing by their ATV, getting their gear on, ready to go drive their ATV, you know, four-wheeler, 
little tiny four wheeler around. Uh, I've seen hot air balloons. Um, I haven't seen anybody flying kites or anything, but jet aircraft. All kinds of fun stuff out here. So, uh, for as you know, you could say this game is really dull and boring, but as a programmer myself, it's really, really cool to see the amount of work that these guys have done in the last, this game's almost 10 years old. It came out in 2016. Uh, and the amount of maps and mods and detail that they put in, look, there's people standing out there in that field next to that tank or whatever. You know, there's just all these fields and orchards. They, they had to go in and, and make this. It's just impressive. It's just impressive. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Look, there's an oil. They're drilling for oil out there. I don't know if you can see that on screen. There's an oil pump. The tractors, they're out there working the fields. There's an oil pump out there in that field. <laughs> what else we got? Got the sun coming through the clouds. Yeah, it's just it's just fun. It's just fun for me. Okay, I gotta turn soon. So let's get into our mode. Okay, we gotta go up off the ramp. So let's hit the brakes to cancel everything. You know, turn right, going through Bakersfield. Let's move into a better view for me to drive. Now it's going to beep because I do have lane assist on still, even though it's not was a lane assist mode. Kind of warn you that, hey, you're you're going out of your lane. Whereas lane keeping assistant is what I use when I'm on the highways. I got plenty of gas. I'm still got plenty of rest in me. We got six hours left. Let's see if we can turn this without causing an accident. There we go. All right, Wayne keeping assistant on. Get up to speed. Looks like it's going to be 55. Uh, it might get a little squirrely in here. Lane assist is not on. Gosh dang it. Come on. Piece of junk work. There we go. All right. We're good still. But yeah, one of the things I love when I'm driving, um, is uh driving through little towns just seeing that like yeah, people live here this is just insane i don't know why that fascinates me so much but it does you know I want to hit that guy. Oh, good. There's a Walmart. There's a burger. I added the mirrors up front on the front corners of the uh, truck here so I can kind of not have the big ones up in the corners, you know what I'm saying? Not have these. It's fun. It gives me a little more view. <clears throat> the 
to see more of what's happening. Uh, but I don't see there. Let's get in this lane. Of course, as soon as I stop, the light turns green. Now, see up here on the right, on the there's a, it's a question mark. I don't know what that is. It's a dealership or something. There's lots of places that are question marks on the map. So I would have to turn in there and go find out what it is, but I don't want to lose, I want to stop my mission. So we'll just go through this yellow. <laughs> Back on the highway. What was the cruise? Back it. It's not that. Alt, right alt. Is that my... It's climbing back up to speed. That must have been it. Get that. Lane assist. Okay, we're cruising again. Cruising again. All right, uh, we've got five hours left. Let's take a look at the map. Um, there's a place to sleep there on, looks like it's on the other side. And there's a place to sleep on the other side. So my next place to sleep on my side is gonna be here. Not that it matters, I just I tend to go, okay, here's a spot here to get off, sleep. Hopefully I can make it that far before my bed turn red. Should be okay. All right, what kind of what kind of views do we got in here? Look at all this cactus. Cacti. And a junkyard over there. These big cactuses. Oops. All right. We've got tumbleweeds. Ah. And a helicopter. What is there? A ref? <laughs> Fugitive. <laughs> hey, you came into me. And I still got to pay a $900 fine. You jerk. <sighs> Come on. Get back up to speed. Lane keeping assistant. You're not doing it. I wonder if I have to be up at a certain miles per hour for those things to kick in, like 20 or 30 or something. Yeah, tumbleweeds. Yeah, let's box this Jeep in. Won't let me do it yet. Lane, uh, lane tracking. In keeping assist. I've got my pedal to the metal here. Let's hit alt. In keeping, there we go. Gonna climb back up to speed. <laughs> See, sometimes you still gotta pay attention, even though it's on cruise and lane keeping assist and all this other stuff. You still got random events that happen which is real life and it's fine it's fun being out here in this desert area <laughs> all these tumbleweeds that's hilarious <laughs> ah, i'm gonna hit them <laughs> so fun 
Just chilling. Just chilling. Taking our time. What's our what's our prize again? Thirty two thousand. So when we're done, we should have ninety eight thousand niche. All right. I ain't mad about that. One of the reasons I like taking these longer hauls that have higher payouts that I don't have to one. The, the hauls are longer, but they pay more. So obviously you don't have to do so many. Uh, to, to earn the cash, you can just do some longer ones. Plus, you know, your skills will increase the amount of money that you get for valuables and heavies and hazardous, all those things. So if I come in here and look at your career and your skills, you can see here that my fuel economy uh, is rank four so i save up to 25 percent of fuel when driving with a trailer and driving free but like fragile it's only level one so fragile i get five percent higher reward for delivering uh, and then i get experience bonus bonuses um and obviously when you rank this up to six you get 30 percent higher rewards Right. So you want to do the you want to do all that. And I've seen some of these have a uh, high value with fragile cargo. I think we're carrying one of those. Right. If I go look at our job that we're currently doing, it should say, yeah, fragile and high value. So you get you start stacking that stuff up and uh, you get all kinds of cash. All kinds of cash. All kinds of cash. All kinds. Those little houses out here. Yeah, we're out in kind of between cities. I don't want to say the middle of nowhere, but there I know I've been through Wyoming actually, and I know there's great stretches that have nothing in them. As far as like people and buildings and towns, just these big stretches of open, open area, which I like seeing. I don't want to live on a Coruscant. I like having big open spaces. Okay, coming up on Barstow, which I have not been through yet. Because the lower right map says it is grayed instead of yellow text. So that tells me I have not been through this town yet. So we're going to unlock that. Good stuff. This would be fun to, and like I said, this would be fun to actually drive through. Just to see different scenery. I got plenty of rest in me. Plenty of rest. So I don't need to hit this rest stop. Get in this lane, sir. See, I have no indication whatsoever. My lane keeping, there it is, is on. So I want to go straight, which means I got to turn into the left lane. Got my blinker on. Turn into the left lane. Lane keeping, there you go. Nice and chill. Happy little drives. 
happy little drive. So I'm just letting lane assist do something until it breaks. And I have gone into the ditch before. <laughs> right? Get jackknifed. These stupid computers. It's all right. I should have me. I should have manually driven through those sections. Lean assist. Alt. Right alt. Gets me back up to my cruise speed. And you can set those to whatever you want. Now, when I set up this game, I it walks you through your profile setup. How do you want to do you want to do automatic transmission? Do you want to physically have to go through all the gears up and down, all that stuff? I chose automatic. Just just drive. I don't want to. I just want to step on the gas and go. <clears throat> so, like I said in the other video, it's totally up to you how you want to play this game. If you want to get a, if you want to do all that, you're more than happy to do it. Get your level of immersion. I just want to hit the gas and go. So that's how I have it set up. So when I look into the settings, there are lots of buttons on the keyboard that are configured um, for gears going up and down that I could remap to other things. And what I need to do, look at all those hot air balloons out there. It's so cool. What I need to do at some point is sit down and really um, figure out what keys I'm not using and how I can map those to uh, other key bindings and then map that up to my touch portal so that I can um, do other things. Like I was already thinking earlier, I'm like, I've got on my D-pad on my Xbox 360 controller or whatever, Xbox One controller, uh, I've got the D-pad right set up for wipers, but I have not seen rain yet in this game. So I don't need that. Left toggle is lights, but I just turn the lights on and I leave them on while I'm driving. So those are those are buttons I could map someplace else on the keyboard um, and then use the left for like lane tracking is lane keeping assist the right is to get me back onto my um cruise control settings and eh, you could you could remap it however you want up cycles through the cameras down goes into the map Ooh, we're almost there look at that Coming up on our sleeps. I don't even know if I need it. Uh, we're going to do it anyway. Because I got a feeling we're going to. Okay, so we're coming up on our rest stop. Um, Look at that. We need some service on our vehicle. Yeah, it's because we drive assist drove us into a freaking <laughs> lane. You dumb computers. It's all right. Um, it's all right. We'll get it fixed. Oops. Coming up on it. Dude. What is the deal? is the deal haven't been paying attention to the scenery which is fine I'm not here for the scenery here I'm here to haul these vehicles make some cash so yeah you got to get hundred and eighty thousand dollars to expand the garage to add another uh, truck bay then I can hire someone but I don't know how much it's gonna cost to hire someone so, uh, we'll cross that bridge and we get there. I have a feeling I'm just going to have to keep doing a, some more, um, 
some more jobs, which is fine. This is what the game's all about, right? You're going to hit the blinker. Oops. Hit the brake. Turn brake turns off cruise, turns off lane keeping assist, all those other things. And I think we got to go this way. Not used to doing this on a passenger side or a truck driver's side. You usually go where the cars go. So we're going to go in here. We're going to find an empty spot. And you don't have to park perfectly. You just need to get in here. And hit E to turn off the car. A to rest. Time passes. So now it's going to be 10 p.m. Start your car again. Get back out on the road. But you see my my bed on the right um, is now clear. As you get more tired, it fills up with blue. I have seen it get red, and then a notification will pop up saying, "Hey, uh, you're super tired." You need to, um, you need to rest. Wonder if, oh, I turned the car off. I bet cruise control is not going to work, is it? It is. <laughs> it remembered that I had the cruise set at 55, so it's going to climb up to that. 55, 60 or whatever I had it set to. Let's get lane keeping mode on. Goes. Okay. We're almost done. We got an hour 37 left in this drive. And that is cool. So if I take another look, we are coming up on another little wiggle spot. If I zoom out, we are almost done. Go through Prim. Then we're in Vegas, the Tesla spot. Cool. Get our 30,000. Hopefully we won't have too much damage to repair. We still have eight and a half hours left on the job, but um, it says we got 64 miles, an hour and 24 minutes left. So we're definitely going to, even with sleeping for, you know, six, eight hours, whatever it does automatically, we're still going to have plenty of time left on this, which is like, I strive for that because I want to make sure I get excellent and, and maximize the money. I have done jobs where I I was way past, you know, an hour or two past the cutoff time. And a, you take, you lose money and experience points for that. So I try to be a good driver and get in there and get my, get my pay. And get my pay. This is where I, I would love at night to see like... UFOs coming and just zipping by. You get the moon out there. That's fun. You know, I've seen aircraft, small aircraft. Um, but I always thought it'd be funny just to see like a UFO come by. <laughs> or a group of three or four of them and do some patterns in the just traveling in the sky. <laughs> some dumb stuff. But it's all right. It's all good. Oh, there we go. Yep. Coming up on Vegas. There's the searchlights. I have gone through Vegas once already. That's all right. Supposedly there's a way to get out of your truck and go walking around, but I haven't discovered out how to do that yet. So I have not walked on my feet. Only done truck and stuff. Prim one mile. Nice, quiet. Welcome to Nevada. Thank you, sir. What? Why did it cut off? I have also, I accidentally, um, <laughs> turned off the engine 
like right now just driving i accidentally killed the engine got rear-ended that was fun stuff it's called all kinds of crazy adventures you can have it's not vegas that's prim right why are there lights at the walmart in prim <laughs> That's funny. Gotta advertise. Get your attention. Ooh, speed limit 70. This is where I need to map the buttons to increase cruise control. Oops. Gosh, dang it. I'm screwing around. It's all right. Um, I need to go here anyway. So let's dial this in. Uh, sorry. We can go here. We're going to go up the ramp. And we're going to turn left. Uh, so about an hour for this job. Like I said, I know we were kind of screwing around a little bit at first. And I rear-ended that guy. Yeah, losing money left. No, see now he's... Had an axe. Oh, he went. Okay. Seen him do that before. Usually they just stop at their flashers. Get in here to four, camera four. Get to turn right. Keep forgetting I got a, got a heavy load. Um, I can turn right on red. Did it to me again. There's Vegas on the right. Uh, we're going to turn. Hopefully. Uh, not doing too good of a job. Wait, are we supposed to be here? Well, why are we? Oh, turned in too soon. It's supposed to be Walmart. Right road, wrong destination, Aaron. Yeah, goofus. You can go right. Apparently me hitting the wall is somebody else's car alarm trigger. It's fine. I'm going to turn right. I should be able to make this. All this for money. All this for money. Yeah, after this, I'm gonna I'm gonna remap some keys, and uh, you're not gonna watch it, but I need to remap some keys because this turns off the vehicle. Uh, right thumb button. Left thumb is the horn, but I have had no reason to use the horn, so I could map those to something else. Uh, that's going to be my go back to cruise. On the right, left is going to be my drive assist to those. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, here we go. Wonder if there's a repair station close by. I see up on the right, there's a bed, a gas station. A waste, a scales, a garage. It's not my garage. If it's green. Does that mean I can buy it? Set up a shop, get a garage out here in Vegas. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. There is a, there is a mechanic right here. All right, we're almost there. Almost there. Vehicle malfunctioned. All right, as long as I get to my destination, I don't care. Volvo truck dealer discovered. Okay. So we're going to pull into this auto parts store and I just want to be done with it <laughs> to be honest. All right. How much did we make? Uh, we lost 4,600 in damages, penalties, lost 225. It's satisfactory and we did okay, but we damaged the goods. Bummer. Uh, I just want to continue. So we got one skill point. I want to up my fragility. Or do I want to do long distances? Long distance. 5% uh, reward. I'm at 10 for distances look longer than 400 miles. Let's go ahead and do... Um, yeah, let's... This just lets me take... I've got class 1. Dynamite, fireworks, and ammunition. 2 is going to be gases. Uh, since I'm just in time deliveries, there we go. Sometimes companies need to deliver something important quickly. They call for a just in time job. Such work puts more stress on the driver. The delivery was tighter, but the compensation eases your level of comfort, a new comfort, a new rank, uh, of this skill. I don't really do those fuels fine. Yeah. Let's just do, well, let's do long distance and check, check apply because i'm doing longer drives okay now i'm at ninety-two thousand. i still cannot if i go to garage manager uh you click on the one because you can have multiple garages apparently click on it i can't i need to unlock a new slot so you hit upgrade and i don't have enough money to upgrade the garage i need a minimum of one hundred eighty thousand. so twice what i got now Ugh. I could travel to it. I could do an economy summary. The statistics for the last seven days, I've had 112 in revenue, truck maintenance, fuel. So I've profited 95,000. The $13,000 daily profit. So there's two ways I can do this. I can go to the bank and get the loan for a hundred thousand. That'll give me a hundred and ninety-two thousand. That'll put me over the thing, but I gotta pay eighteen hundred dollars a day, which means I just don't like being forced. I don't like being forced to pay back stuff. So that's fine. Let's keep doing what I'm doing. I'm doing what I'm doing, what I'm doing. Wait, what'd that say? New images available for upload. Oh, I took a picture of my truck. <laughs> uh, I did hook into 
the if I go to navigation or if I go to jobs external contracts I did hook up with uh, world wheels which is the online version so now I can go to the online database and look at jobs from the online uh, which is fine I could take this from here to Barstow all kinds of jobs Vegas Barstow where have I been Camp Verde Phoenix um yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna go mess with my settings and retweak my controls and probably call it a night because uh need to eat and stuff good stuff fun stuff <laughs>